The concept of retirement is a modern one. In the 1870s, the German statesman Bismarck introduced 65 as the age at which citizens could stop working and receive a pension. This was a humane initiative at a time when work usually meant heavy manual labor and life expectancy was much lower than it is now. The typical retirement age for men has been set at around 65 in most developed countries since the Second World War. Though women live longer, their retirement age has generally been set rather lower. But in recent years, people have been retiring willingly or unwillingly much earlier, as young as 50 in some cases. Mainly because many companies have been trying to reduce the size of their workforce. Some workers have thus been able to look forward to many years of retirement. This, however, is about to change. The reason is the aging of populations. During the 20th century, life expectancies around the world increased by one third. Today, a girl born in a developed country can expect to live well into her 80s, and boy until his early 80s. Meanwhile, since the beginning of the 1950s, global birth rate have helped. The populations of developing countries will keep growing for several more decades because of the number of young people still to reach childbearing age. But the populations of Europe and the rich countries of Asia will shrink and age. The main consequence will be an increased burden on workers. At present, in developed countries, there are about three workers for every pensioner. As the baby boomer generation begins to hit retirement age, this ratio will fall dramatically. By 2030, it is expected to average 1.1 to 1. And in Germany and Italy, it will be 1 to 1 or lower. A distinguished economist has recently written that we are confronting such great changes in terms of population that they could redefine economic and political system in the developed countries over the next generation. With unemployment in the USA and some European countries hitting near record lows and significant scale shortages in some areas, a strong push to retain older workers is developing. However, this will require big shifts in attitudes among both employees and employers. A recent Australian survey found that when looking to fill senior management jobs, 60% of companies still preferred people in their 30s and 65% of companies said employees over 50 will be the first to go. Governments are just beginning to take positive action to counter these prejudices. In Japan, the government is providing financial help to companies to encourage them to retain older workers. In Britain, where early retirement is estimated to cost around $27 billion a year, a major effort is being made to help older unemployed people get back into jobs. The British government minister in charge of employment has declared that the age discrimination is bad for the economy and unfair to the individual. Some companies are now realizing that getting rid of their older workers was, in fact, a false economy. Older workers have lower rates of absenteeism and staying on job longer which saves money on recruitment and training. Also, some companies have discovered that older workers have more respect for their firm's values and traditions. British Telecom recently became the first company in Britain to raise the retirement age for its workers to 70. In the Netherlands, where unemployment is at a 20-year low, Job agencies specializing in recruiting workers over the age of 65 is finding that demand for its services is booming. Not all older people want to be in the workforce, of course. 
But in a survey in the USA, 80% of baby boomers reported that they intended to continue working after they are 65, at least part time. Only 13% said they did not ever want to lift a finger again. The issue is thus not only one of economic efficiency, but also of the health and well being of the fastest growing sector of the population. Though we often complain about them, for most of us, our places of work are where we find conversation, stimulation, friendship, and a reason to get up in the morning. When we are 65, not only will they still need us, but we will also need them.